So I'm going to be reacting to this shortlist for some of the Oscar categories that has just come out. I know a few of the snubs because I have heard some of them like through Twitter, but I haven't actually seen the full list yet. So let's see. Okay, documentary feature film. I have no feelings about that category. Documentary short film, same. I have no feelings. International feature film. Argentina, 1985, Corsage, Close, Return to Seoul, Holy Spider, St. Omer, All Quiet on the Western Front, Last Film Show, The Quiet Girl, Bardo, The Blue Caftan, Joyland, EO, Decision to Leave, and Cairo Conspiracy. Okay, all the ones that I thought were going to be there are in there, so no snubs there, nothing to really say about that one. Um, I will say for those who are wondering why RRR is not in this, it's because India didn't submit it as their international film for international feature film. Um, but I think that it will get nominated in other categories anyway, so it doesn't really need it. Um, as always, I'm going to be banking on decision to leave. Um, but it's good to see Close in there. Bardo will probably get in there. Maybe. We'll see. But that's all good. Makeup and hairstyling. All Quiet on the Western Front. Amsterdam. Babylon. The Batman. Black Panther. Blonde. Crimes of the Future. That's interesting. Elvis. Emancipation. And The Whale. Really excited to see Crimes of the Future there. I think that that's really cool and a cool, interesting pick. Um, of course, The Whale and Elvis and Batman, all good picks. Yeah, this list looks good. Okay. Music, original score, All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar, The Way of Water, Babylon, The Banshees of Inner Sharon, Black Panther, Devotion, Don't Worry Darling, Everything Everywhere All at Once, The Fablemans, Glass Onion, Pinocchio, Nope, She Said, The Woman King and Women Talking. All of that seems fine. The only snub is obviously Batman. That was such a pity that Batman got snubbed for that because I really think it was worthy of a nomination. And even to win, that score was really, really good. So I don't know what they were doing with that, but the rest of the list looks fine. Music, original song. I don't want to read them all out because they're actually quite long titles, but just looking at it quickly, all looks fine. Good to see Natu Natu in there and I hope it gets nominated. I think that that will be really, really good. Um, the only thing that got snubbed because it wasn't eligible was Vegas from Elvis I think because of sampling issues so that's a pity not to see it there but the rest of the list looks fine animated short film I have nothing to say same with live action short film I know that a lot of people were expecting all too well to be in live action short film but it wasn't eligible which I'm not that mad at. It's a tricky distinction because it's like, is it a short film or is it just an extended music video? It's, it's weird to think about what category it could fit in. So who knows? But yeah, I'm not that mad at it. And the rest of the list, I have nothing else to say. Sound, we've got All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar, The Way of Water, Babylon, Batman, okay, so the Batman is in sound, but not score. So reasonable, but could be better. Black Panther, Elvis, everything, everywhere, all at once. Pinocchio, Moon Age, Daydream, and Top Gun. That sounds good. I think Top Gun will win. I think sound editing, it feels like a Top Gun thing. Um, 
and I know historically a lot of like I don't know a lot of more movies that are like in kind of action or war genres get sound so I'm thinking Top Gun is probably in with the best chance visual effects all Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar, The Batman, Black Panther, Doctor Strange, Fantastic Beasts, Jurassic World, Nope, 13 Lives, and Top Gun Maverick. A pity not to see everything everywhere all at once in this list. Um, it was such a visually dense and just a really, like, I just thought that that would be kind of a shoe in um, so I'm surprised not to see it there. Um, but it has got other, it's shortlisted in a lot of other categories. So I still think it's, you know, it's going to do well. It's going to get lots of noms on the, on the night. And, um, yeah, pity that it missed out in visual effects, but it's still got a good chance in other categories. And I think that it will still do well throughout all of awards season. Um, so those are my really quick reactions to the shortlist everything seems good and fine for the most part and as we expected and I'm looking forward to seeing what the nominations look like and how the rest of award season shapes up thank you so much for listening to this quick one take ramble and I will see you in the next video also thank you so much for 60 subscribers I really do appreciate it 60 might not seem like a lot, but to me it's a lot and I'm really grateful for all the people that have been watching my videos and listening in and sticking around. So thank you so much and I hope that we can continue to grow this channel and you guys get something out of um, watching and listening into my videos. So thank you so much and see you in the next one.